snow day on our farm. Welcome to snow day number three for 2023. I am already, do not throw that at me. What? I am already flipping and sliding. I thought it was supposed to be spring. Yeah. Next week. <laughs> no, this week. Yeah. This is all going to turn to water. Supposed to rain today and then be like seven degrees on Friday. Yeah, it's supposed to freezing rain today. That's why the buses were canceled. A lot of snow. We woke up to a lot of snow. Snow city. So if it's a snow day, that means Sophie's got a sled. <laughs> I don't know why. She used to find her way to the barn on the sled. But the real question today is, will Sophie finally find a duck egg of her own? Tell Ellie to get it. Ah, uh, Ellie. See how she doesn't attack Molly? Okay. Oh. It just needs to be patted down once. So it'll be good. Oh, remember Ellie loves sleds? Put her on this, put Ellie on the sled and then send it down. God, the snow tripped me. Stay. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's get this done. I'm getting cold. <laughs> Sophie does not want me to check the duck egg first. Huh? It, it's crazy. Like, this is. Oh, the door opens all the way now. Move. I'm gonna fall on you. Yeah. She's trying to push me out of the way, but she's afraid to fall. Is Leo in there today? Uh-oh. That's weird. They never go in that hut. Wait, I almost had a heart attack you there. You the one laying your egg. You think it's him laying the egg? What? Wait, you have to close this. Oh my gosh. Imagine, we need to figure out what duck laid eggs and geese eggs look like. Oh, there's an egg! <laughs> it might be Leo! Oh no, boys sit on eggs in some breeds. Oh, cute! <laughs> oh my gosh! Who laid it though? Well, it looks like Lucy's egg. How do we know it was Lucy's egg? Well, because that's a boy. How do you know because it's a boy? She never said, mate me, mate me. She has, like, every day. I've never seen him in this box before in my life. The egg is toasty. So, either he's laying the egg or he's trying to... He's nesting. Um... What is happening? <laughs> Whose egg is it? I sent the picture of our egg to my friend and they're like, that is not a duck egg. It is though. I feel like it is too. But he's a boy. Is he a boy? Well, he's nesting. What in the world is happening? Leo. He's looking for his egg, Sophie. That's so unkind. <laughs> it's right there. Well, let's see, see if look, he he's Ellie, go. Look, he's trying to bury the egg. What the heck? All right, this is the first time we've ever seen him, her. Maybe it's a girl and she just identifies as a boy. I don't know. Anything can happen. Phone. I'll take a photo of this. All right, guys. All the experts out there. We're sure that Lucy is a girl because she doesn't have that drake feather. So, if you look very closely. Where where do you put it, buddy? Take a picture. He has take an egg under there. But we don't know. Like he definitely and has like, that long skinny neck of a boy. He has that, oh my God, Lucy. that, that quiet, raspy voice. Wait, see, he's nesting that egg. So I think they're upset that no, we've been taking their eggs. No, because someone I saw on TikTok has a boy goose and it was making a nest around her. Oh, okay. That's what I was going to eggs and it was sitting on the eggs. Yeah, I was going to say that. I have seen that some breeds. And Lucy's like, give it back. <laughs> oh my God, she took it back. <laughs> Okay, he's well, looking for it. He's not the smartest boy. <laughs> he's like, oh, there's my egg. Well, that was interesting. How about we leave them in today? Well, why don't we... Let them hatch their egg? 
No, we're not. Let, there's no way it's fertile. It's not fertile. Who knows? <laughs> because you have to have the same species for it to be fertile. A goose cannot right, cannot fertilize eggs. a duck egg or I don't know what in the world. <laughs> but this is really cool. This is the first time we've ever seen anything like this from our... But you know what? It's starting to be egg season for ducks. Like lots of times ducks won't lay as often in the winter, but then starting at like in February, the egg February and March, they start to really lay and it starts to become like no, egg hatching egg season. I before when I hatched a goose, yeah. it was way bigger. Oh, that's so right. And it was like plump and not like long. Long, yeah. All right. So what we think is happening is that Lucy's laying an egg and that Leo, the kind hearted, loving boy that he is, he's trying to nest on it. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's mad though. She wants to do it herself. She's a bossy husband. <laughs> See, he's like so much quieter than her. At least they're using oh, the- Oh, they love each other. At least they're using the nest yeah, box. Yeah, they're finally <laughs> using the nest box. I feel like they'd like the nest box open so they can see out. Well, Leo was just laying there. Wow. I thought so, he was dead. So I did too. It's crazy when you're ow. So it's I crazy when your mind goes straight to oh my gosh, he's doing something different, he's dead. Do I close this? Yeah, I I would close it. I mean <laughs> we have to put them out. Maybe they'll just lay more. Oh well, they left it. Wow, that was interesting. So I take the egg. So Sophie, your very first duck egg and it was it. such a good experience. I found it. Yeah. Wow. That was crazy. It is really cold to today. All right. I need to get these guys water. <laughs> it's always his blanket is a mess. I know. I used to fix it. Storm, be nice. <laughs> He's just excited. He wants to come. So today I asked Sam to check the water temperature downstairs in the basement on the on the water heater because it whenever I have a bath I turn the hot water on and I don't even add any cold water and it's just hot. So I know that the temperature setting is off. So I asked him to do it and he went down and he looked at it and he said, oh, darn, I can't fix it. I have to unscrew the front of the thing and I don't have a screwdriver. So you know what I said? I said, don't worry, Sam, I got a screwdriver for you. He's probably gonna regret giving me this toolkit for Christmas. So the reason that school was canceled today is because it snowed last night and it was supposed to start freezing rain today. And it started, it is freezing rain. <laughs> it's awful. It's actually super cold in here too. So Gabby came out to do her chores because she is home all day. Oh, you're such a beautiful girl. Like in the snow and in the doorway, they always look so pretty. It's dark when you're looking towards the light though, so you guys can't really see. She's so cute. You guys remember when I set up this first aid cabinet? I still love it. I absolutely love it. Love everything about it. I'm just looking in here to see if there's any stuff that I could use for the goats for my birthing kit. I have a lot of stuff in here. There are some things that I can use vet wrap for, but I have some inside, so I'm gonna use the stuff that's inside. I'm gonna add that to my kit. Also, you guys remember when a, a very amazing woman um, named Allie T sent us these cloud boots for Chino and extra pads for them special pads for them. I'm actually keeping these in my cabinet to keep them like nice and safe. I have Chino's other boots in here and all of the stuff, like all of our drugs and stuff, all of our medications. I have a cabinet down in the barn, in the goat barn that I'm also making like this with all of my drugs and stuff that I'm doing for um, the goats. What is this? Anyway, I just wanted to look in here and see if there's anything that I needed. I have a ton of, what the heck, I have a lot of stuff in here, but I have a lot of these. I actually 
can use these for the goats. Actually, when you have goats, you actually have to do a lot of shots. So you have to change needles for each goat. So it's really good to have a lot of different, a lot of different ones. But yeah, I'm still really proud of it. I even have my stethoscope. I should put that in my birthing kit. This is a pretty good first aid kit, I believe. Now what I need, I still have to put away our, all of our Christmas stuff. If you guys don't know, we store all of our stuff that we're not using. Like uh, this is the only storage we have in the whole house. So we store all of our stuff back here. So what I need is a Rubbermaid container, but one that obviously has a lid. All right, I found it. This is it. It's a clear one. I emptied it out. It's completely clear. I love that. Seems like the best kind of kidding kit bucket. I feel like I've hardly been out in this barn for a long time, but I'm thinking maybe I could use this down in the goat barn because I really don't have any room for it in here. And I don't really use it. But actually, maybe I could make this my birthing box. My kidding kit, wouldn't that be so much better? Because then I could put like my medicines in one. I could, this is what I'm gonna use for sure. I'm taking this. So the only problem about using this thing is that, do you think it's gonna be like awkward to carry around? I don't think so. Like a big bucket or this big thing. I think this is just offers me better. Um, I'll know where everything is. All right, I'm gonna take this in wash it up and show you some of the things that I have already. I'm just out here while Gabby cleans her stall, storm stall. And every time Sam brings hay home, actually they brought hay home to, did you go with dad to bring hay, hay home today? No. Oh. Every time Sam brings hay home, this whole area here gets filled with hay. So I'm gonna just clean that up while Gabby does her stall. best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drift in the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless So I cleaned it all out. It smells nice and beautiful. I have a bunch of towels. I'm gonna to probably put, maybe I should put the towels on the bottom. I literally have been to the store so many times and I have a list and I still keep on forgetting the things that I need. I figure no dough is gonna have four babies. We'll just wash them in between or I'll buy more if I need it. Gabby is playing a video game with a friend and Sophie's on her computer in the other room so if you hear a lot of screaming, that's Gabby. That would be Gabby. I love setting up stuff like this, organizing stuff like this. I love my kit in the barn. Like I love my first aid kit in the barn. Hopefully um, this makes it easier. I do think that this is gonna make it easier. I see a lot of people using their kit and it's in a Rubbermaid. And, and honestly, it's like they, it's all kind of, falls together. That's my cheap kit. So these are maternity gloves. There's 10 in this bag. I'm not gonna need any more than 10, hopefully. I'm hopefully not even gonna need one. Uh, they're the really long ones that go all the way up your arm. I have a lot more stuff in the barn already in all different spots. Like I have a little area down there that I had set up for my birthing kit. I think I'm gonna have to get some little containers like I have in the other thing, some little containers to store all this stuff. And I think I'm gonna put like some of my medicines and stuff here. I'll just have to get some little containers so they're not rolling all over the place. But that's it for now. I have a thermometer and I have scissors. I just don't know where I put them. 
So I have to find them. It's getting there, but like any kind of a vlog, this is just a work in progress. I think I'm gonna use that little um, printer. Did I show you guys that? I'm gonna show it to you right now, but I have this little printer that prints stickers, which is amazing, because then I can label what's in here on the side and print it out and stick it to this thing so that we have like a list of everything that's uh, where it is on each thing, on each drawer so that we don't have to sort, search through everything. We can just look and see. I like it though. It's getting there. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the 